Hello everyone and welcome to Long's Toys. Today we are taking a look at the DX Siren Striker from Lupin Ranger vs Pata Ranger. Uh, this is kind of a awesome tank. Uh, something that is a little weird to get in this line. Uh, but I guess police tanks are a thing, so I'll just go with it. Uh, it is a trigger machine, even though so far it has been primarily used by the Lupin Rangers, which is kind of the same deal for the uh, trigger machine Splash. So, I don't know. The Lupin Rangers are just stealing all the trigger machines now. I don't really, I don't know why, but so be it. As you can see, it obviously has combination with the Mecha. In the show, it gives uh, Lupin X this power-up to become Super Lupin X. Here is a picture of the tank on the side of the box. Here is a picture of it being used with all the different uh, toys, which of course we will take a look at. Nothing really going on on the bottom. Cool picture there on the top. And then again, it just shows how it combines with the Magic and Splash to form this, I think it's Siren Lupin X, I think. No, Lupin X. Siren Lupin Kaiser. That's what it's called. I believe that's what that's called. And then again, here it is with the VS Changer and with the Mecha. So, of course, we'll take a look at all of those. Let's go ahead and get him out of the box and we'll take a closer look. All right, so here's the Siren Striker out of the packaging. I like it quite a bit. I love the color scheme. It's kind of a navy bluish purple with red and gold, which I think works really well. You have a little bit of orange here for the number seven, signifying that it is the seventh trigger machine. Yeah, but otherwise, you just have a super cool little tank. Now, he does have the large turret in the front, and he has two side guns. He's got the little Pathoran, uh, Pathoranger shield there on the front. How this works is you go ahead and pull the trigger. And that will extend, and then once it does that, you can move these guns up and down if you like. You can move the main barrel of the tank up and down. And you can also deploy these, like, cow catcher things, for lack of a better term. Forklift, whatever you want. <laughs> uh, if you want at that point to plug this back in, you can. Actually, I guess, should you push this down? Yeah, because it kind of, you can see there, like, it's up. But then if you have it down, as you push it in, it kind of pulls it down and locks it into place. So don't try to pull these up without first doing the trigger. But you can leave the cow catcher things deployed if you like that look. So, yeah, I don't know. These things are kind of weird. I feel like they mostly exist for the robot mode to kind of give it like a, a skirt later on. You'll see what I mean when we get combined into the robot mode. And then you just flip these back up and they just loosely... Tab back and then put this, and there you go. And then you can see on the bottom it does have the rail system, and then it has the connection port right there. So you can see it is number 24 right here. So yeah, I like the little vehicle. I think it definitely looks pretty cool. Let's go ahead and bring in the VS changer so we can get to the sounds. All right, so we just go ahead and slide this right on. So, I love everything about this. The sound effects are fantastic. The music, the new music for it is awesome. I love how the trigger machines always kind of flip down and connect and actually feel like part of the gun. I think the tank treads look awesome with the gun. You have double barrels. I just, everything about this design looks really, really cool to me. I like it quite a bit. So there you go. Press down the button. Slide it off. Just for fun, we'll check out the... Alright, 
So just to prove that you don't get different sounds if you swing it up versus if you swing it down. Alright, so checking out the combination with Lupin Kaiser. You're going to go ahead and press the trigger, extend that out, lift this up. This will swing all the way down. Lift the uh, main barrel of the tank till it points straight forward. And then swing the cow catcher bits down again. And then you can leave this up, you can put it back down, whatever you like, it's your preference. But there is the connection port here in the back, which is going to connect very similar to how um, Trigger Machine Ichigo connects. And then there you go. Now unfortunately, the head is very far recessed into this thing, so there is quite a bit of shadow. I'll see if I can get the light in there just so you guys can see. And I'll try to zoom in. Here, let me... Whoop. So you can see it a little bit there. Let's see if I can shine some light in there without getting too much glare. So you can see that it is a nice uh, metallic green for the eyes. Some gray there for the mouth. And then you have some gold and a little bit of red on top. So I really like the head sculpt for this. It's just a shame that it's so far recessed. Maybe if I tilt that back, is that a little bit better? Hmm. A little bit better. It's just so far. There's so much stuff. Oh, you know what? This is because I forgot to flip these out. That's on me. These are supposed to flip out. There you go. Now you can see his face. <laughs> so much better. Yes, you're supposed to flip these out, which obviously I think looks a lot better as well. But also it doesn't hide the face. You can actually see the face sculpt now, which I think looks fantastic. And I do kind of like to keep these down. But it's a pretty cool form. Um, it really does seem like everyone wants to use Magic and Splash from now on, I guess, because they're the newest, most exciting forms. I like Splash. I've never been a huge fan of Magic, just because I think the little, the goofy hand is, is goofy. But I guess if you wanted to, you could close these up and... Does it look any better with just a giant blimp hand? Not really. Not really. But I do like Siren Striker. I mean, you can use whatever hands you want. You don't have to use this configuration. It's just the one they seem to use a lot on the show. So, but yeah, I mean, really nice gold paint everywhere. I think looks great. Head sculpt looks fantastic. Love all the guns. I think that's really fun. <laughs> Plus, now it kind of looks like a gun with the trigger on the back and then the barrel of the gun out here. I think that's kind of fun as well. So, yeah, just overall, I like this form. Now, if you wanted to, if you disconnect one of these arms, which apparently is easier said than done, and then if I disconnect this, which again is easier said than done, stand. Okay, so now if we close this back up, fold this down, fold up the catch, cow catchery bits. And connect all that there. He does have the port, so if you wanted to, you could just peg that on his arm as a giant uh, gun arm. And then you could take this off and use this thing as a head. If I remember how this works, I do somewhat. If you pop this on there. So there you go. You could do something like that. If you wanted to give him a giant cannon arm. The peg does work in the arm area as well. Obviously I think it works better as the torso area. But it can be used as an arm as well. I think Siren Striker is a lot of fun. I know we're getting towards the end of this line. I think we have Victory Striker. And that might be the last of the Trigger Machine slash Dial Fighters that we see for a while. Um, but yeah, this guy is definitely fun. Love the color scheme, love the gimmick. I think the connection as either an arm or torso for the larger mecha works really well. And I think this guy is definitely one you want to add to your collection. One of the better trigger machines in my opinion. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. Hope you enjoyed the video. And as always, thanks so much for watching.